Howdy partner. Do you want to learn how to paint concrete floors? Well, you're in luck. We're going to show you today. Today, we're going to show you how to paint these concrete floors. This is actually the end of the job. So we kind of fast forwarded to what it's going to look like at the end. But we're going to walk you through step by step by step on how you get a great coloring in blue or any other color you want on an outside patio. So stay tuned, sit back, and get ready to watch. Also, if you haven't already, please go bottom right and hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate the subscribers. That's what keeps this channel going. So thanks for subscribing. Thanks for tuning in. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get the floor prepped. This out here you're looking at, this is our old paint that we did about four years ago. And it's held up really good. This is a fortune floor paint that I'll show you in just a few minutes. But over the years, we have had uh, a few areas that need to touch up. We've got here, we had a rug sitting here that kind of uh, water sitting under it, got underneath the paint and had that. It's also been dirty. We've cleaned it off a number of times, soft pressure wash and other things, but it's gotten dirty. This is where a rug was, so you know, it's kind of discolored. And then also when I painted the house, I have a little overspray. So today we're just going to do a quick cleanup and then apply a new coat of paint. It'll be good for another five years or so. To kind of tell you what we encountered when we first moved here, I'm sure somebody else who watched this video has had the same thing happen, is they had a outdoor carpet here that was really nasty. And when we pulled it up, there's all these swirls of carpet paint. And I tried to get them up, but they're really, really stubborn. And it left this yellow residual swirls everywhere. If you zoom in, you can kind of see some of these swirl texture on here. So you're pretty much stuck with this really difficult situation. What do you do with this nasty yellow swirl? I'd rather just been plain concrete, but the easiest solution was to clean as much of that blue off as we could and then give it a nice porch and floor paint, make it this fun blue color, which really worked out. So today we're gonna pressure clean everything to begin with on a high power pressure washer. You don't need to do that, but it's the best way to really clean the surface. So we're gonna get all the old debris out chip up any loose paint, and then tape off and go ahead and spread the new one. So stay tuned and we'll get this job over. All right, well, we finished cleaning up and prepping the surface. You can see we pulled up some of the loose paint, got up most of the stains, everything else. So now we're gonna get ready to actually apply this coat and finish this off. If this was a fresh job, it would be very much the same. I talked earlier about the carpet glue and this sort of yellowish color is what that kind of stain left on the concrete. That's why we changed the color. The color that we picked is this bare porch and patio floor paint. And we're going with the aqua marble is the name of the color. And we have the same one we used before. We only used about a gallon of this to do this whole job. So I'm not too worried about spilling any of this paint when we put it down on the uh, in our pan because we're just gonna get on the floor. But if I was, I'd, you know, lay a mat or tarp or whatever. So this is an 11 inch tray and then we use a liner, which is very easy to clean up. And then basically I wanna get a paper towel handy. It's probably not the best way to do it, but you can just kerplunk. Okay. There we go, nice and clean, give it a wipe. Then what we've done is we went around, we already mixed that paint by the way, and we taped up all the edges everywhere around so they're ready to go. So we're just gonna take a paintbrush, not too picky about what kind, and you just wanna go ahead and just go along the edges with this paintbrush. Let's get nice even coats, even strokes rather. And then once you do just a light perimeter, then we go ahead and roll out the rest with the roller. So shouldn't take too long, stay tuned. So you just wanna go ahead and just kind of overlap your strokes and just take your time. Easy job, make sure you got even coverage and it'll come out real nice. Well, voila, we're all done. Um, that took about 45 minutes to roll on or so, and the coat came out perfect. Again, we already had an initial coat on there, so this was just to go over it. Took about a gallon of paint. This is 400 square feet, and it's really a great surface. We're just letting it dry a little bit more. It's still secure for about 72 hours. So, um, you know, let it dry, let it cure real good, and then we can go ahead and move everything on back. So, I appreciate you tuning in. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Appreciate any thoughts you have and likes and comments. If you would have done this, would you go with this color or would you have gone with something else? I'd like to hear that. 
Again, just remember, these jobs are not that hard. They're not impossible to tackle. And if I can do it, you can too. Thanks for watching and keep tuning in to Mr. Greg's How To for more.